Hi, this is John DiDiego. I'm Education Director at Great Smoky Mountains Institute at Tremont. And I want to share with you today an activity we call Carbon Cycle Mayhem. It involves a big parachute, a bunch of crazy bouncing balls, and your students. Or in this case, our teachers at our Climate Change Workshop. One of the challenges teachers describe to us in teaching about climate change is that the subject is just so vast and complicated they don't feel confident in tackling it with their students. We like to simplify it by breaking it down into its components and carbon cycling is a critical component to understanding carbon change. Understanding how the role of carbon sources and carbon sinks and how carbon cycles through our atmosphere is the basis of understanding climate change and our impact on that. Some of our objectives in Carbon Cycle Mayhem are that students will take part in <clears throat> a carbon cycle demonstration, both in balance and out of balance. They will observe the role in carbon sinks in maintaining the, carbon, the Earth's carbon balance and they can describe how the release of stored or old carbon affects the overall carbon balance. In the end, they should also understand the importance of large forested areas like Great Smoky Mountains National Park in their ability to store carbon as a carbon sink. Talking about the carbon cycle, and uh, when we were talking about that, we mentioned that there are things called carbon sinks that store carbon. Who can remember what some of those sinks are? the things that will store the carbon for a little bit. Water. Okay, water. Ocean. 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 Yeah. Land. Plants. 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 Soil. Animals. Soil. Animals. Okay, excellent. Um, so what we're going to do is play a little game that will help illustrate the carbon cycle. And we're actually going to do more than one round. Uh, and this game will help, um, in particular, help folks understand that while certain things will store carbon, it's not equal and in equal amounts and equal abilities. So uh, we're going to do a little demonstration and I have these different um, size containers and you all just mentioned that there were plants, animals, um, soil and oceans that will store carbon. Which of these containers do you think would be best to represent the ocean? In, in, uh, in particular, how much um, Carbon can the ocean store versus some of the other? Is it more or less? Uh, Most. Uh, in fact, we heard from our presenter today that it's about 50%. Uh, so, which one of these containers would be best? Big one. Okay. Big one. Excellent. You all are wonderful. So, we've got our biggest container that's going to be the ocean. So, in this little game, we want to play. Is there anybody who wants to volunteer to be my ocean? Oh, thank you. Okay. The that you see sitting on top of the parachute are carbon molecules that are in the atmosphere. Uh, we have our four different carbon sinks, so if you all could just step into the parachute somewhere. What you're going to be doing once we, uh, we're going to power this carbon cycle in just a moment. Everyone around the outside, not just yet, we're going to kneel down, grab an end, and start shaking fairly vigorously, and these balls are going to start bouncing around. Um, your job is to you can proceed with the mayhem and have a lot of fun with wild bouncing balls in a carbon cycle that is in balance. Um, take a look at our numbers here. At the end of the first and round, report your numbers of, um, and all then of our chart. carbon was collected. So we would call this a imbalance system because all the carbon that was in the atmosphere was used in some way. Uh, so this is a balanced carbon cycle. We're going to do this again. We're going to do a second round. During the second round, make sure you have someone with all the extra stored carbon going around adding more carbon to the system to create one that is out of balance. Watch the fun. After students have seen a carbon cycle in balance and a carbon cycle out of balance, make sure they think of ways that they could change their lives or the lives of the students at their school to help the carbon sinks take up carbon or potentially reduce the sources of carbon. These are ways that students can become stewards of their environment through understanding their carbon footprint.